These are critical times for Hudson County. Property tax increases year after year. Crime and drugs on the rise. And a quality of life headed in the wrong direction. This June 5th, we have a decision to make that could help change Hudson County's direction or keep things heading off on the wrong track. That decision is who should represent us on the County Freeholder Board, a little-known office that wields tremendous power over our daily lives. We have two candidates to choose from. Arnold Bettinger, born in 1949 in Jersey City, a successful businessman who's given much of himself to the community he loves. And Anne O'Malley, born in 1912 in Boston, Massachusetts. A longtime resident of Jersey City, she's been a freeholder since 1973. Whatever your choice, remember to vote June 5th. I was born in this neighborhood. I grew up here. We share the same values here. We're straightforward, mainstream Democrats. We're not looking for some new, radical political philosophy. What we want is good, honest, decent government and candidates that remember where they came from. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe Hudson County is headed in the wrong direction. I believe we could do better. And I believe doing better is within our means. Politicians say that the best we can hope for is that things don't get too bad too fast. I don't believe that. I believe we can do better. And one easy way to start is by putting our tax dollars to the use that they were intended. That's not going to be a popular position with the boys in the back room. It's going to mean some pain for them instead of for us, but they better get used to it. Arnie Bettinger. His family's lived in Jersey City for three generations. They founded Bettinger's on the Square, a Jersey City landmark for 50 years. He's built his own fortune that would allow him to live wherever he wants, but he's chosen to remain in the neighborhood he grew up in and still loves. A successful businessman, Bettinger knows the bottom line. And he'll fight to make sure that our tax dollars are spent to make our lives better. This year, two million of our tax dollars went to the pockets of the boys in the back row. Do you know what we could have done with that money? We could have had better schools, safer neighborhood, and cleaner streets. I can't believe the things that go on in county government. If I ran a business that way, I'd be out of work in a week. $512,000 for new office furniture. When I move, I take my furniture with me. Then we find out that they took the highest bidder and paid an extra $225,000. Do you know what we could do with $225,000? We could hire nine cops, put them in a couple of our parks and clean them up. Wherever I go, people come up and ask me if I'm one of the bed and Jews from Journal Square. Then they tell me some story about my family. It's nice to know you've been part of a community life for so long. When you've got that kind of bond, you try to do whatever you can to make your community better. Arnold Bettinger's worked hard to make his community a better place to live. He's been president of the Journal Square Merchants Association, leading the attempt to revitalize Journal Square. He served on the Criminal Justice Planning Board and the Council for the Prevention of Child Abuse. He's a strong supporter of laws to protect the safety of policemen who put their lives on the line for us every day. Now, he wants to put his commitment to work full-time for us. There's a tremendous responsibility of being a freeholder. You decide the county budget, and that sets the property tax. You're in charge of the park system, fighting crime and drugs, economic development, almost everything that affects our lives. We have to stop this tax madness. This will be the third year in a row that we'll have a tax increase over 10%. I'll bet there's no one in this district that gets a 10% pay raise. I have a confession to make. I don't believe a word politicians say when they talk about holding a line on taxes. Now I'm running for office and I intend to hold the line on taxes. So how do I expect anyone to believe me? That's when I hit upon the idea of signing a contract with each voter. Maybe this way they'll believe me. I've known my opponent for 30 years. She's been a loyal Democrat. But she and I have different views of the job. She came up through the old ward system. She believes that she should do what the bosses tell her to do. I have a different view. When I disagree with her on issues, I think it's my duty to let people know. We have county political bosses, some of them unelected who are running things. We need to send them a message, get your hands out of our pockets. Someone has to tell these guys that it's their job to build a strong democratic party, not bankrupt the county. 
We have to do something about the county jail. It sits in the middle of our neighborhood. When something happens there, the other politicians read about it in the newspaper the next morning. We know about it the night before because it happened in our neighborhood. How do we fight crime and drugs? We fight them by putting every cop on the street that we can. Let me tell you how we get more cops on the street without raising taxes. We put our tax dollars to work where they are supposed to be. Arnie Bettinger. He's on our side. Whether it's cleaning up Journal Square or Washington Park, helping children or supporting our police, whether it's taking on the political bosses or signing a tough pledge against property tax increases. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we can do better. I believe we can tackle our problems and lick them. If the Bushes have taken over a park, we can take it back. If our schools aren't performing, we can correct it. But it requires a contract of faith between the voters and their elected officials. The voters have proven they'll do their job. Now it's up to those of us that aspire to political office to do ours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Arnold Bettinger, on our side for a change. I'll give you all the help I can. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Your uh, family has been in the community for many, many years. Half a century. You know all the problems. Oh, God, I know the problems. The crime.